Hello and welcome to my channel. Today is uh, my first video on KiCad and, and this is going to start out with a quick tip. I don't recommend this if you've never used KiCad before. This is for someone who has some basic understanding and maybe is frustrated with how footprints are assigned. So KiCad is a great tool. Uh, what you see here is a 3D version of the item I'm starting to work together. It's not finished yet. Um, it's going to hopefully be more slender. But one of the things I've run into when I'm working with KiCad is uh, is some of the difficulty in ass assembling or assigning footprints, I'm sorry. So what I have here is, let me bring this over so you can see the key clicks. And then I have, um, let me bring the footprint. So when you're, uh, when you're ready to assign a footprint, when you know your tire schematic is done and you're ready to assign a footprint, you can click this tool um, which runs, it says CV, CV PCB, but that's, it's, you know, assigns footprints to the PCB components. Um, and it brings up this tool right here. I already have it loaded, so it's correctly sized for our work for the screencast. So what you, and what you do is you have all your items here that need um, footprints, and all of these are going to be blank. Let's see if I have one that's actually blank. No, I don't. So but um you know it can quickly become very overwhelming so say you look at capacitors through hole capacitors and i think for an experienced person which i am not so for a professional these these indicators are very easy to read and make sense for me i have to like i i mean i know what they all mean um but i have to it takes me a long time to go through and by a long time i'm talking you know seconds and minutes not hours <laughs> um but I thought it would be really cool if I could see the, see the footprint and see a visual of it um, as I'm selecting. It would really help me out uh, as, as, a, as an amateur. And then <clears throat> as I was working, I remember, well, you do have to assign, there, you know, there are properties and you do, you can't assign the, the footprint in, in the properties. So let me, let me show you. So if you select, so that's the way to go. Let me go to the selection arrow and select the barrel, barrel jack. So I'm going to do a right click on it and we're going to look at properties. You can go straight to footprint but I want to show you in context. So if I go to properties and again I'm on the wrong screen sorry um, you'll see that it's got the prop you know all the properties associated with this symbol and the, the footprint for it is right here. So you can see I have a barrel jack connector. If you click on the library thing the footprint library will get loaded and oops sorry <laughs> I'm going through screen hell here. And I've already got this selected. <clears throat> you know, it's got a list of general categories, which is a little bit easier. Um, well, it's the, that's the same as in the big list. But anyway, you'll see I've got the barrel jack, and you can go through and select the different car categories. Getting used to these categories is going to be one of your first hurdles in FreeCAD or KiCAD. I'm sorry. And then I selected um, this is the one I think I want for it. And it shows you the you know what it looks like on board, which gives you a lot of kind of visual clues as to what you have. And I'm a, I'm a visual person. And then the other thing is is the 3D viewer for that component is right here. So if it has a 3D representation, uh, um, it loads it right up. So this so that's not the one. So yeah, so that's my barrel jack. So right away I know oh that's exactly what I wanted. Um, and eventually you do start to become familiar with this stuff, and, and you pick your favorites all the time. But, um, you know, this has helped made it a little bit easier for me to assign footprints. So I recommend this approach if you like it. So it's um, sort of an as you go approach instead of, you know, uh, you know, all hands on deck at the end sort of thing. So this this to me is a little <clears throat> and this is a small schematic. Imagine if there were thousands of components, this could be very overwhelming. And I do think that if you pick this isn't something I've checked, but I think I remember if you if you set the footprint for one, it'll stay for the others. And also, if, like for example, if I set the footprint for the LED and copy it, it's going to keep the it's going to keep the footprint. So for like these these uh, LED arrays, I'd only have to set the footprint for one. So I hope that helps, and I hope um, you can learn FreeCAD. Or <laughs> sorry, I do a lot of FreeCAD. Uh, my subscribers know that you can learn KiCAD along with me. I'm pretty early on in my process of learning KiCAD, and I've done some successful boards so far, so I, you know, I, I consider myself successful in KiCAD, but uh, I've certainly got a lot to learn. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to uh, see some of the work you guys have done too. Uh, if you like my channel, uh, there's a lot of a lot of free CAD, and there'll continue to be, but I'm hoping to add KiCAD and some physical build stuff too. And uh, 
so I hope to see any future sub so subscribe and cl click on the alarm bell so you'll see get notifications have a great day